get right. Oh, I gotta open it, haven't I? Sounds quite painful. Sounds quite painful, doesn't it? Ah, red. Hi, red. I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? He wanted to die. Yoink! I'm off. I'm out of here. Would you like a pint of beer? No, because it's the end of the game now. Wait, that's just an alternate version of the same song that I've always been singing. Oh yeah, let's get in his room. Whoop. What are we in here for? A letter. Nothing interesting to me. What else are we gonna get? Open the cupboard to find some dead. Ah, oh, it's quite clearly inedible. Then how did he survive so long? Physics of Half-Life 2! Oh, P! Why is there a save point? We're at the end of the game. Go away. I'll save it anyway because I don't remember for sure. The chains on his arms are visible now. Not there out of choice. Father looks on aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows. He knows what has come. What the man has released. The only one who could stop it. Howard knows the real fear. Hmm. Oh. If I never see another one of these things, I don't know. I don't like them, but at the same time I know... Oh, wait, what? I've already said that. Toilet. Jesus, from the stench, I think this may have been the toilet. I erg. Let's put a book down it. We can't. Because apparently you can't pick up everything in this game. Damn, he knows what's good. That's the most beautiful face I've ever seen. So is that. Whoa, I fall down the toilet! Not actually. Oh. How many hours did he spend his neck in the noose just trying to end it all? A lot. No wonder he was getting hungry. What a final meal. Ration slug. Still knowing red. Perhaps he enjoyed them. Probably. Uh. Why was he hiding this? Wait. Indeed. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thanks. Now the door to saviour is over. Is open. Stuff. You can play this and read that if you want. I'm not going to. Whoa! Wait, what? Oh. Yeah. Three minute open. Pause it if you want to read that. I don't. You probably can't even read it. Oh, look. Welcome to the shelter. Horror! Dodgy steps. The shelter? Sounds like we've made it to somewhere rather good, doesn't it? Bye. No! The door's locked, it slammed shut behind me. Oh! At least my glow stick works, huh? Hey, wait! Oh. I was hoping that would open. Why must you flip? Ha, I blocked the doors, now they can't get out. Oi! With that, the man who had first descended into the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. Yeah, the game's not over, really. Chapter 2. To be continued. Wait, what? That was a short game! Mmm, Penumbra Overture. There's only one real scare in it, I suppose. That cement mixer. Well, for me anyway, because I played it before. Also, I've watched two other playthroughs of it on YouTube. Bum, 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 music. 
I am of course going to do Black Plague as well. Probably. Oh yeah, I will. Because it's better. Good game, wasn't it? It's like an odd point and click adventure game, but all 3D and first person mode with battles. Adventure game. Use that on that. Oh. Boing, ba boing, boing, ba ba boing, boing, ba boing. Oh, the music is quite dodgy, isn't it? For more information on the next episode, visit www.penumbra-overture.com. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I did. It's a good game. Buy it. Then again, you've seen it all now, so you don't need to buy it, do you? Oh! But yeah, Penumbra Black Plague is a lot scarier. And it's also a lot more awesome. Anyway, that's the end of Penumbra Overture. Bye. Hope you enjoyed that. By the way, the review. Oh, great. I forgot the review. Graphics, they're good. 9 out of 10. Um, <clears throat> sound audio is good. 9 out of 10. Wait. I say 8 out of 10. Because a lot of it, the rushing bits where you have to run, it's annoying and stuff. And the physics are a bit they're fun and stuff, but it can be a bit dodgy when you have to use them to get places. But, oh, it's fine. It's fun. It's stuff. The, the combat system sucks, but, you know, it's not about combat, is it? Gameplay, 8 out of 10. Uh, <clears throat> somebody, I think it was Sunny Vicer, suggested I should include story in the review. In reviews. So, story. Wait, hang on. Sound and audio. The music, it's all fitting. The sounds, they're good. The voice acting, is fine. And it's a, quite an atmospheric game as well, isn't it? So I'd say 10 out of 10, maybe, yeah. Story. It's nothing that special, but at the end of this game, with the whole shelter thing, it kind of got me thinking of Lost. Oh, yeah, talking about Lost again, with the hatches and stuff, because I wanted to know what was going on. What is the shelter and stuff? So I think the story's good, and it is good, actually. As you'll see with Black Plague, the story's a lot better in Black Plague. There's a lot of stuff happens. And, um, lifespan, it's very short. It's very short. I guess, uh, I don't know. Forget it, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give lifespan a rating anymore. I'm just gonna say what I think of the lifespan. I'm not gonna give it a number. Because I keep giving it low numbers, like 5 or 6, because it's a short game and there's not much more reason to play it. So lifespan, it's short, but it's good. It's a good game. Black Plague. Together with Black Plague, it's like the length of a proper game, pretty much. Almost, I guess. But the first time you play this, you'll be wondering what to do sometimes. So it'll be a, take a bit longer. Anyway, yeah. Overall, this game gets an 8 out of 10. I think... Maybe a 7. But I think an 8. But Black Plague will get an 8 or a 9. Anyway, see you then. Bye. Yeah? No. Yes.